Difference between entering invoices and sales receipts in QuickBooks. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and here we are on the QuickBooks home screen. And so I wanna go through today the difference between uh, when you enter an invoice and when you enter a sales receipt in QuickBooks, because I see far too many people get this wrong, and then it's a matter of having to go back and fix a ton of information to get it right. All right, so there's two basic ways to record sales or revenue in QuickBooks for your business. And you'll see it right here on the home screen. You've got create invoices and you've got create sales receipts. Now, let me go through a very quick uh, analysis here of showing you how to enter either one of these. Okay, so it brings up a form. This is very basic in QuickBooks. And we say, okay, we're gonna choose um, a customer, Mark Bauman, and you're gonna put in the item. All right, we'll say floor plans, and you put in quantity and price. Let's say we'll make this $200 each. All right, $400. That is an invoice. Now you're gonna, you know, print this, mail it. You're gonna email it to your customer, and they pay you at a later time. Okay, so that is the first important distinction. An invoice is when a customer or client is going to pay you at a later date. All right, so you send this out. It becomes what's called accounts receivable, which is what your customers owe you. And then when you receive that payment, you offset it against this invoice and you clear it out of the system. All right, so let's go back to the home screen and then I'm gonna show you a sales receipt. Okay, when we say create sales receipt, you'll notice it's the same kind of setup. It's a form that looks pretty much just like the invoice, except now it says sales receipt at the top and it's got these boxes. All right, so sales receipt, same thing. We're gonna say Mark Bauman. Uh, home remodel, if you need to put a class in there, you can do that. We'll say new construction, date, sale number, and what you're going to do is choose your item, and you're going to say blueprints, and we're going to say quantity 2 and 200. Okay, so this one is also $400, just like the invoice. Now, you'll see here that you have the option to choose. Now, why would you choose this? Well, this is because a sales receipt you record when somebody pays you immediately, all right? So you wouldn't do an invoice if they're there and they pay you right then. You know, you'll see that typically like in a retail store or something like that where somebody pays right when they check out. That's when you use a sales receipt in QuickBooks. The invoice is when they pay you later. The sales receipt is when they pay you at the time of the transaction. You want to make sure you get this right, otherwise it will severely mess up your books. All right, so you're going to choose here. You're going to say check. Um, it could be credit card. You know, you can choose more, but we'll say a check, and then we want to put in the check number over here, and we click save and close or save and do. We'll say save and close. So that is when a sale is recorded when you do the sales receipt. And the invoice, when you send an invoice, is when the sales recorded but then you collect the money later on again so the important distinction here invoice when a customer pays you later sales receipt when they pay you immediately any questions any comments feel free to leave those below and i will see you in the next video